Hi guys, so how honest is the right honourable gentleman from the 1800s, Jacob Rees-Mogg? Well, he was challenged by the Labour MP Jess Phillips in the House of Commons on Wednesday on whether Mogg and the Tory party would protect a corrupt politician if that politician had been from the Labour Party. Now, Mogg responded by saying, yes, if the shoe had been on the other foot, he would have protected the Labour MP in a similar situation to that of Owen Paterson, who was found to have broken parliamentary rules on lobbying while being a member of parliament. Well, let's see exactly how honest Jacob Rees-Mogg truly is. And I simply ask him this question, which I ask of all members opposite. Does he think he would be standing here today making these changes if it were a Labour MP involved? <laughs> I think, I think the Honourable Lady knows me well enough to know that the answer is yes. <laughs> this, can we call this Tory party gaslighting? I would, have no, I would have no hesitation if I thought an Honourable Member opposite had not had a proper process and had had representations of that kind in doing exactly the same and the Honourable Lady has made this point herself when she has... I'm answering her Honourable Friend, so patience. The Honourable Lady has made this point in previous debates when she has raised points saying she would have done it regardless of the party. And in my view, she said that in good faith, and I accepted her good faith, and I hope that she will do the same for me. Now, Jacob is attempting to say, well... You are an honest individual, and I hope you believe that I'm an honest individual too. Well, how honest is Jacob Rees-Mogg, especially when it comes to the Labour Party? Well, this is what Jacob Rees-Mogg said back in 2017 about food banks and the Labour Party. The Conservative government uh, allowed Job Centre Plus to tell people that food banks existed, and the former Labour government would not tell them, and that that was a policy decision to stop people knowing that there was help available. And I don't think the state can do everything that it tries and it provides a base of welfare that should allow people uh, to make ends meet during the course of the week. Now, this is about food banks. So what he's claimed here is that the Conservative Party were willing to allow people uh, access to food banks, get promoting food banks, because, you know, a, a lot of poor people exist in the country. Uh, we're not providing them enough support, but... The Labour Party wouldn't talk about food banks when they were in power. I wonder why that was the case. So if we go here to Wikipedia, and of course I'll leave a link in the description, on the issue of food banks, it comes. Uh, I want to point out this part here. It says, Before the 2008 credit crunch, food banks were almost unheard of in the UK. So 2008, that was when the Labour Party were in power. In 2004, Trussell ran two food banks two food banks in the entire country run by the Trussell, Trussell Fund, the Trussell Trust, sorry. Um, by 2007-2008, there were 22 food banks in the Trussell Trust food bank network. And by early 2011, the Trussell Trust supported 100. So by 2011, the first year of the Tory government, there were 100. Before that, there were two. Okay, then 22, and then 100. As of May 2012, there were 201. By August 252, the rate of increase has been uh, rising rapidly. In 2011, about uh, one new food bank was being opened per week. In early 2012, there were near, uh, there were being opened every week. By July, the Trussell Trust uh, had reported that the rate the rate of new openings had increased by three per week. In August, the rate of new openings. Uh, spiked at four per week. Now, as we know, food bank usage has increased dramatically in the UK under the Conservative government, the previous one and the current one. Um, and you can't turn around now, Jacob Rees-Mogg, and say, well, you know, the, the Labour Party were being dishonest. They were not being honest with the public by not telling them that there was support available via food banks. We were honest by doing that. When there were very few food banks available, according to the Trussell Trust uh, in 20, as we saw here in 2004, there were two available. 
of course the conservatives would rely more on food banks because that's what they wanted the, the state, uh, the country to rely upon, not on welfare, rely on food banks. So it's once again an, another example of Jacob Rees-Mogg being dishonest when it comes to criticising the Labour Party. So does anyone trust him when he says that he would care that he would come to the side of a Labour MP if they were being accused of corruption. I highly doubt it. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.